The next thing we gotta check for now is the finishing move. So here's how it is standing up. And that is a pretty freaking tight finishing move, if I do say so myself. Would you still care to talk to me? So well, what's up guys, it's Ray here by Nino Rapaji and welcome back to another video of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Multiplayer and Warzone 2. With the Season 2 Reloaded update just dropping, you guys already know we're going to be getting a whole bunch of Tracer Packs for the rest of Season 2 and the first bundle that we're covering is the new Tracer Pack Padraig's Pandanomian Bundle, which is pretty cool. It's St. Patrick's Day themed, so you know, happy St. Patrick's Day to anybody that celebrates it make sure you're wearing green or you're gonna get pinched like i just did to myself but uh, in this bundle it comes with a ral mg tracer blueprint a knife blueprint which maybe could have tracers we'll see and a operator skin for one of the operators that you know obviously fits the whole you know uh saint patrick's day theme so if you guys are excited to see everything in this bundle see me cop it see how the tracers look like see how camels look like on this these weapons and see every anything that there is to know include any secret you know tracer stuff on this bundle, make sure you guys drop a like in the video, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. On this channel, I tend to upload store bundle videos that interest me, like Tracer Packs, Mastercraft slash Reactives in the future if they decide to upload them, or release them I should say, and anything cool like that. Also, I do upload Warzone 2 videos from time to time, and new slash update videos from time to time as well, so there's a variety of content for you to enjoy here, or you can just enjoy my personality. I'm just glad that you're here. And with all that being said, thank you for being here. Without further ado, let's check out this bundle. So starting it off, we got the operator skin for Connor known as Off Kilter. And obviously this makes sense, you know, you got to be wearing a kilt if you're from, uh, you know, you know, going to be celebrating the whole uh, whole theme of St. Patrick's Day. And obviously, you know, if you, if you want to be in the spirit, this is the dude to freaking buy. Or if you want to just want to look kind of funny, this is definitely the dude to buy. I love his beard. He definitely fits the theme and I think he looks pretty great, so... For the theming of the bundle, I think this is a pretty fire operator skin. Do I care about it personally? No. Next up, we got the LMG of the RAL MG known as the Shamrock, and this is the Tracer RAL MG. It comes with rainbow slash look of the Irish impact and gold coin explosion as a death effect. And uh, let's see the attachments it comes with. Ooh, it comes with a 0.338 mag high velocity ammunition. I doubt that anything else in this game comes with that uh, ammunition. I'm pretty sure this is only going to be a RAL MG exclusive. But I'll make sure to, you know, obviously look around through all the guns and see if I can find anything. But, uh, you know, freaking, I mean, visually, this looks beautiful, bro. You can really see the details of the green and the gold. What does that say? Made in Ireland, bro. That's freaking beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that on screen, but there's a lot of details to this freaking uh, gun. And I, uh, I personally love that a lot. So, yeah, those are the attachments that it comes with. And we'll definitely see if there's any tracers on other weaponry that we could put on because that's the ammunition tracers but if not i'll let you guys know next up we got the combat knife of the skin which is uh it doesn't say that it comes with tracers so it probably won't come with tracers sadly it's just a green knife we also got the vehicle skin of the kura the weapon charm of to the dead the finishing move known as the rapid incision i will be showing off the finishing move in game in case you guys are curious about it so make sure you guys stay tuned for that we also got the gun screen of the rainbow chase and the emblem known as cloverleaf Honestly, this bundle is kind of an L in my opinion, but unless you're a St. Patrick's Day fanatic or you just want a RAL MG Tracer, this is probably a cop for you. But I'm only copping this for the video because I care about you guys and if you guys are curious about the tracers, so let's go ahead and cop it ourselves. You know, I, I just already from the looks of it, it doesn't look all that crazy. The tracers are probably going to be pretty cool, but it's only for the RAL MG most likely. But I'm going to try to see if I can put the ammunition on other guns. And of course, I'm going to show you guys how the guns look like with camos. So without further ado, Let's keep it moving. So here we are with the Shamrock Ral LMG and the Combat Knife uh, CN. So uh, looking at the Ral LMG, I just wanted to note real quick. Uh, if you want to keep the Tracer for the Ral LMG, you can change any of the attachments here except for the ammunition. And if you guys were wondering if you could put these ammunition tracers on any other gun, unfortunately you cannot, which really sucks. No other gun in the game, at least that I was checking. I checked very thoroughly on every freaking pistol, sniper, LMG, AR, SMG, whatever you want to call it. Uh, none of them had the same uh, ammunition type as the RAL MG. So unfortunately, only the RAL has this ammunition, which kind of stinks in that sense. But uh, yeah, these are the attachments that the gun comes with. And like I said, if you want to keep the trace rounds, don't change anything about this uh, gun ex when it comes to the ammunition. You can change anything else except for the ammunition. Uh, so when it comes to the camos, here's how the gun looks like with its base camos. 
And uh, when it comes to the mastery camels, here's how gold looks like. Here's how platinum looks like. Actually looks kind of clean with the green. Here is how polyatomic looks like. It actually stands out really nicely. The heck, the gun glows? Bro, that's like a reactive gun, an animated gun. And here is Orion, which also looks pretty dope. But I think polyatomic really takes the cake here. So definitely rock this with polyatomic. It looks sweet. Uh, when it comes to the solid color camos, this is what you're going to be dealing with, basically. Looks kind of cool. I mean, it's just covering the edges of the gun. So it's probably going to look better with a solid color camo when you put on your own attachments. But uh, yeah, just thought I'd show you guys. Now moving over to the C and knife, which I mean, it's just a knife. So there's nothing to really check there. That's how it looks like with the red solid color camo. Uh, here's how gold looks like. Here's how platinum looks like. Here's how polyatomic looks like. And here's how Orion looks like. Orion looks pretty dope on this one. I can't even lie. It doesn't cover like the actual knife, but it covers the handle, which is kind of cool, I guess. Uh, solid color camo wise, it only covers the handle once again, kind of like with the mastery camos. So yeah, it could be an L or a W depending on the combination of knife that you want to use, but it's a knife. I don't really care for it. And uh, you guys know what I like to do. We have the base attachments here for the RAL MG Shamrock. Now let's see how it looks like with meta attachments if you want to make this gun a beast in Call of Duty multiplayer. And here's how the gun looks like with its meta attachments. If you change some of the attachments, this gun pretty much doesn't look lose its look. I changed like the barrel, the muzzle, I think. I think I changed the stock. Honestly, the only stock, the stock is the only thing that kind of like changes for this gun. And if you really cared about the green that much, you can just put on the solar color camo of Neon Loud, and there you go. You pretty much have green on almost every base of this gun. So honestly, it's not that bad. And obviously, Polyatomic still looks great on this gun as well. You still get the nice little animated effect, which is pretty gnarly if, you, if I say so myself. So uh, W Blueprint if you're a fan of the RAL MG. But yeah, with all that being said, I think we'll go into a game, show off our boy uh, Connor here in private match, see how the finishing move looks like and how the traces look like on the Shamrock. So let's rock and roll. Okay, so here we are with the Shamrock RAL MG. And man, this fool is freaking green as hell, bro, as you guys can see. Looks really freaking green. So if your favorite color is green, I mean, you're taking kind of a W here, man. Here's the, the reload in case you guys are wondering as well. Nice little inspect, looking pretty fresh if I do say so myself. And now let's look at the tracer rounds. How do they look like? That's actually pretty fucking sweet. It's all basically four leaf clovers, <laughs> which is actually kind of wild. Let me know what you guys think about the four leaf clovers. It's kind of sweet. Um, and then here's the knife. Can't forget about the knife. Get the C in. This little twirly twirl Valorant fucking inspect right there. <laughs> Pretty clean freaking knife, I do say so myself. Hmm. Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do next is... Actually, can you... Nah, there's no tracers on this knife at all. So nothing special about the knife. Let's go ahead and uh, see how the dev effect looks like on the RAL MG. They actually turn into freaking coins, bro. That is actually beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, let me know what you guys think about that. Freaking... Freaking... Four leaf clovers and coins. Kind of fire if I do say so myself. Can't even lie. Next, I want to see if there's any tracer knife effect. Yeah, there's no tracer knife effect. So it's just a regular knife. It's just a skin on it. Kind of wish I had like traces on it, but oh well. The next thing we gotta check for now is the finishing move. So here's how it is standing up. And that is a pretty freaking tight finishing move, if I do say so myself. Sheesh. What do you guys think about that? Nice little kick. Next, I wanna see how the finishing move looks like when they're laying down. I hope that's not too bloody for YouTube. <laughs> we might get demonetized, but maybe it's animated enough that it doesn't get them or that it That it you know, we're it doesn't get demonetized, but that was a good finishing move sheesh And now let's see how it looks like When they're uh, down, let's see this finishing move real quick Yo, the animated blood with this freaking finishing move is actually pretty crazy, but yeah, those are the three finishing moves I don't know what you guys think about that. 
crazy or what? Okay, so I switched over to my meta class setup that I showed you guys earlier. Just to show you guys that uh, you do have tracers. Remember, you can have tracers on this gun as long as you don't change the ammunition. As long as you don't mess with the ammunition, you are good. But uh, yeah, now that we've shown a lot, let's go ahead and go into third person mode. Show you guys how the operator looks like in third person mode. And then end the video. Pretty crazy bundle, I cannot lie. And here we are with the man Connor himself in third person mode. He actually has the whole freaking kilt, which is kind of funny. I actually like this character a lot. Oh, I guess you can see his underside. At least he's wearing some trousers, I assume. Good on him. Can't even lie. Good thing the, 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 the animator stopped for that, because obviously third person was going to be abused in some way, either in men or women. But yeah, honestly, pretty fire freaking skin. Uh, honestly, this bundle went from like an L to somewhat of a W. I really like the finishing moves personally. Uh, the Rattle MG, I don't care for. The Operator Skin's kind of cool, but I think the finishing moves are like fucking crazy on this bundle. So that's probably like the biggest W of this bundle. But honestly, unless you're a Rattle MG lover or you love the Operator Skin or you're just a St. Patrick's Day lover or whatever, it's whatever to me. The traces are really cool. I just wish you could have put it on other weapons. No other gun shares the same ammunition as the RAL, so it's kind of a troll, honestly, to put the ammunition on the RAL, but it is what it is. But yeah, with all that being said, make sure you guys drop a like on the video, subscribe, turn on the post notifications, this video helped you. Let me know what you guys think about this bundle in the comment section below. And uh, in the future, also make sure you guys, uh, if you guys are interested in G Fuel or higher energy, you know, use code baller at gfuel.com. I'm a partner with G Fuel. And using my code could save you 20 to 30 percent off. I'm gonna be drinking a, drinking a lot of G Fuel because this video is gonna come out at 2 a.m. and I gotta make like 500 other videos. The grind's gonna be real, but yeah, stay tuned for future store bundles. We got Shredder coming up soon, uh, probably some anime bundles or whatever. So definitely stay tuned. We're about to go crazy for the rest of season two reloaded. You guys are the best viewers ever, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. I love you all. Bye.